five strategies to grow your business with digital marketing that you need to grow your business online is no longer news you already know that without online your business is at the risk of extinction right if you are still doing well offline today i don't know how it will look like in the next one year two years or three years if you continue that way that means growing your business with digital marketing is a must it's no longer something that is optional in 2023 hello guys welcome back to my channel i'm emmanuel and i'm excited as always to have you back i hope you are doing great today so today we are looking at five strategies that you can adopt to grow your business with digital marketing number one is to have create or design or build an interactive user-friendly mobile friendly website so many persons have asked me Emmanuel do I really need a website for my business most like when I try to convince people about the power of having a website they will ask me must I have a website you must have a website why the website is the home of your business online in fact it is the only place online where you have total control the social media platforms that you have your handles in does not belong to you right they belong to third parties and those people have their rules and regulation any day you break any of those rules they will kick you out and if you have built your business your entire business on that particular platform everything will crumble like a pack of cards I'm sure you have not forgotten a former US president who was banned from social media and since that day till now you know how much that has affected his voice being heard let's take for instance that that was a business that was taken out of social media what do you think would have happened to that business the business would have died a natural death so I'm not saying you should not have social media you should but your website is your home it is a place where everything is integrated right where you have complete control where you decide what happened decide what content and how you how you want the content to be so make sure you have uh, a website that is interactive that is user friendly and of course mobile friendly that means because more people communicate on mobile so your website mobile friendly okay so that is number one number two is search engine optimization you have to leverage on search engine optimizing what is it it's simply to optimize prepare your content and your website to be able to rank on the first page of search engines such as Google that means you have content that Google loves to show on the first page of their search engine so what you do is that your business is around a particular industry in that industry or whatever you do there are keywords that you need to optimize your content around that will trigger your content to pop up when people go online to search for something billions of searches are done on Google every single day and as people search the content that have been optimized for search will pop up on the first page and that way they are getting what is called free traffic to their website okay so search engine is very very important and there's even one that is very simple which every business must have which is called the local seo part of the local seo is the one i call um google business google business is a directory that is localized where businesses can you know take their business register it on google so that anybody within a particular geography will be able to get them whenever they're looking for something for instance if you go online now and you search for digital skills training in abuja there's every likelihood that what you will see first is windave digital skills academy that is because of google business so you need to do all this to be able as a strategy because you are looking for what sales you are looking to grow your business with digital market so if you do this you're going to get a lot of traffic and they are 
free traffic. You are not paying any money to get. You are just doing the work of doing the optimization of the content and the website, and those traffic will come to you. All right, that's number two. Number three is use social media. I mean, in 2023, do I need to emphasize this? Of course not. But do you know there are still small businesses who are not active on social media? Who are not even on social media at all? That is disastrous for your business. If you want to grow your business with digital marketing, you must use social media. First of all, find out who your audience is, right? Find out which social media they are hanging out. Take your business there and begin creating quality content so that you can draw them to yourself and make them come to you. And of course, when they come, they love what you do, they will give you money, they will be happy, you will be happy. So there's so, so much power uh, in social media. Use it for your business. Create your account on Instagram, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, uh, on Pinterest, on, on, on YouTube. All these are social media and they can help you grow your business. But like I said earlier, you must know your audience and know which of this platform they are hanging out so that you don't waste your time on the wrong platform while your audience is on another platform. Number four is email marketing. Email is powerful any day, any time. People are still asking, is email still relevant in 2023? And my answer is a capital yes. Email is still as powerful as ever because email gives you uh, direct access to the customer. Let me ask you a question. When was the last time you checked your email? There's every likelihood that you checked it just some few hours ago, right? Or worst case scenario, yesterday. That means anybody who sent you an important email will always get your attention. So what do you do? You leverage your email to be able to communicate with your audience with quality content, let it be announcement or product, or you are teaching them something about what they need to know, or you are educating them about what is important, or you are entertaining them, or you are showing them new products. Email marketing can help you do that. Or you are even sending them to the store. Email can do all this. And email is very cheap, all right? For every single email you send, every $1 you spend on email generates above $30 to $40 in return. Email is very powerful. You must find a way to use email marketing for your business. And good enough. There are several, several, several email platforms that support small businesses that give you free uh, emails. Some can do as much as 500 subscribers and up to 10,000, up to 2,000 or 3,000 emails per month for free. So look for this platform. There are so many of them like SendPost, like MailChimp, like Aweber. There are several, Moosen, several of them. Just look for anyone that you, you, know, you can try out, try them out sign up for the free plan and begin using them for your small business and you will see yourself grow and grow and grow and that means more money for your business all right number five finally invest in online ads <laughs> i can't overemphasize this i've seen small businesses where you tell them to run ads they're like i don't need to run ads i say why not they say well I think the customers I'm getting are okay. I say, okay, do you know Coca-Cola? They say, yes. Is Coca-Cola still running ads? They say, yes. I say, are you more popular than Coca-Cola? They say, no. In fact, one of my clients used to say to me, Emmanuel, it's actually because of that Coca-Cola analogy that makes me to always succumb to this, your running ads thing. All right? So, you have to invest in ads. Seriously. You can never have too much customers. I've never seen a business that say, I have too much customers, I don't need more. I've never seen anyone. If you are that business, please, that would be disastrous for you. You can never have too, too much customers. The highest that can happen is that as the customers are growing, you'll be expanding your system to accommodate, accommodate them. And in fact, investors are looking for businesses that have plenty customers so that they can invest their money in it because they are sure of reaping their return. All right? So if your business has so much customers and you can't, you know, you are having, you are being overwhelmed, look for investors. They will put in money to your business and expand it for you and own part of it and you will grow bigger. Okay? So invest in online ads. Pay money to platforms like Google, social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube. Pay money to them. Let them take your business 
to all over the world, to everybody around the world, all right? Whichever location you want, whichever kind of audience you want, they have them on their platform and they will help you reach every one of them. So guys, this is where we have drawn, we are going to draw cutting on the video and I know as usual, you've gotten value from this video. And remember, if you are here to subscribe to the channel, what are you waiting for? So that we can see. You know, keep giving you this quality, sweet content every day. Subscribe to the channel. Help us share the video to your family and friends. Tell them to like and also share it to other people so that more and more people will have the right knowledge to grow their business online. Till I come your way again, this is Amanda signing out. And I say, I will see you again in the next video.